another place that we went to that was really cool um, was called the Magnolia Manor in Bolivar, Tennessee. And I'm not going to kid you guys. This place was spooky. This is the most craziest haunted place. So many places you go to and uh, you don't feel like anything's happening. But the places where things happen real time, you know, where you hear voices and you see things and things are happening in real time. And they don't tend to be the, the places everyone knows about. Magnolia Manor trumps them all. That place was crazy. And I mean, what was great about it was things happen in real time. As they'll probably tell you, and a lot of other people will probably tell you, so much of it is discovered after the fact. You know, you get back and you go, oh, there's a great photo, you know, but you didn't notice it live. But at Magnolia Manor, things happened live. I mean, you heard voices, you saw things. I actually saw a partial person at one point. I never got to see it again, I never got to see all of the person, but we saw a partial person. Um, but we heard live, so I'm actually going to play some clips from there, some, some audio clips, because they're so... Dramatic. They're the ones that don't get any attention and they don't have the press. You know, I've gone to the notoriously uber haunted places and walk away with less evidence than, you know, Magnolia Manor and Bolivar is one of our favorites because just something great happens every time we go there. This is the Magnolia Manor and it's, it's from about 1841, I think. Um, we were in the room that supposedly they would see this woman in an antebellum dress all the time and we're trying to get her to talk. And as we're asking her questions, she's speaking around us, and we're hearing this live. So you're gonna actually hear us say something goofy along the lines of, come talk to us, that sort of thing. And then you're gonna hear her say, I don't wanna. And what's cool about that is, is we actually have no female members. So we had myself and Mike who were the actual filmmakers and we had two crew members who were both male too. So even capturing a female voice is kind of cool in that regard because there was none present with us. And ironically, this was the first house we shot. So I was still a little shy on the ghost end, you know, and I'd go to the worst house right off the bat, you know, there's voices and <laughs> things appearing. And so many of these are, are either, you know, bed and breakfast like Magnolia Manor and Bolivar or museums or restaurants and so they're great because you can kind of go there you know you may not you know you may be eating you know a, some biscuits and gravy and having a coffee in the place but you know you still have to stand a great chance of at least having a personal experience so any place where the normal Joe can go in and experience something in real time to me is a great location